yeah, nothing that we like t- really have to get to today, other than the fact that we never got around to talking about that. It's absolute horseshit to criticize licorice pizza for the age controversy. You know, uh, we can wrap with that story today because Gavin and I both love Paul Thomas Anderson. I think we it's safe to say we both love licorice pizza. Uh, I think it's a, a damn good film. I'm also now just realizing that I didn't have, find a home for it when I was working on my best of the year. So I'm going to have to fucking resort everything again to figure that out. But I thought this was a great piece of filmmaking. A uh, wonderful story that, you know, was wholesome and nice. And I don't give a shit that the lady was like 10 years older than the kid at all. Makes no difference to me. I'm pretty sure my grandpa was like eight years older than my grandma. They've been together 60 years. Times were a little different in the 60s or 70s. Uh, not to excuse that behavior now, like sex or fucking molestation apologist. But like fucking, uh, I, I, I just didn't even stand out to me as a problem that somebody could be outraged about in the film. Like it's completely like it's a worthless criticism in my mind. Yeah, this is something I wanted to talk about, too, because I totally agree. A lot of the outrage over this just comes off as, as quite insincere to me. I'll throw up a tweet that I think is pretty indicative of the, the response from a certain crowd of the Internet to this movie. Um, this is a Twitter user, Andrew Guy. I'm not quite sure who this guy is, but he says, I wanted this to- fucking guy. <laughs> he says, I wanted to love licorice pizza, but I can't get over the fact that she's 25 and he's 15 and how that is beyond unacceptable. Uh, just in case anyone thought that was acceptable, Andrew wants you to know that it's beyond unacceptable. Also, PTA decided to inject some horribly racist, out-of-touch humor. A big miss for my favorite director. Any lovers of the film out there? Uh, yeah, there actually are quite a few lovers of the film. And obviously, you know, nothing's above criticism. Um, it's everyone's right to have their own take on, on whatever movie. And if it really did bother some people, then that's obviously, you know, like I said, their right to feel upset about it. That being said... Um, To me personally, one thing that I've always felt when it comes to my movies is that I don't want them to moralize me. In fact, I quite despise it when a movie uh, comes at you with this extremely moralizing tone. It wants to be 100% PC. It doesn't want to, you know, ruffle anyone's feathers. No, I far prefer a movie to kind of to dip its toes into a little bit more uncomfortable or taboo waters uh, to kind of go where some other movies might not go. Um, And again, just because a movie depicts something doesn't necessarily mean it's uh, condoning the behavior or saying this is 100% morally acceptable. Go and copy the actions of the characters. No, that's not the point of movies. And again, I don't want movies to uh, to moralize me. That, that's the opposite of what I, I like from my cinema. And, you know, there's a lot of movies that have similar plot lines that uh, the, what we see in Licorice Pizza with a much younger character romantically pursuing a, a much older one or vice versa. You know, think about Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Um, someone brought up Harold and Maud, one of the greatest movies of all time, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, that's an absolute masterpiece. And again, you know, if some people had issues with it, that's their right. Uh, But I I can't help but feel that a lot of the people expressing outrage over this, um, they don't really care that much. They just kind of want a virtue signal and and be like, well, my main takeaway from the film was that it was actually very problematic. It's like, all right, well, no one asked and uh, I'm not going to go see a movie with you because you sound absolutely insufferable to uh, talk about a film with on the car ride home. But, uh, you know, that's my that's my take on it. I thought Liquor's Pizza was also fantastic, a real goddamn movie with real um, characters, development, set, design. And, and I love the fact that it's kind of just like a structureless sort of hangout movie, something I always really appreciate. So highly recommend Licorice Pizza to anyone that hasn't checked it out yet. Um, you know, I, I think most people uh, enjoyed it despite the controversy, um, but it is worth responding to some of the people that, that felt it was too problematic to, to enjoy, to which I say bullshit. Yeah, and even if you are in the camp as me where you thought that, uh, you know, Uh, whole Japanese restaurant sequence was a little cringy and out of touch for the comedy. Uh, It definitely felt a little uh, out of nowhere for me. I I, I didn't like love it. It wasn't my favorite part of the movie to pretend that that was like the whole movie and what it was trying to say is just a dramatic reduction. Right. Uh, I think that you could be like, this movie's boring. And I would be like, all right, you don't like these kinds of movies. That's fine. But to be like, this movie's offensive and it, you know, makes all these like fucking things. Like, just go shut the fuck up. Like, I would much rather talk to you about why you didn't, you like thought that it, you know, was boring or like whatever the fuck. Like, uh, I would dramatically disagree with that assessment, but at least that would come across as like a fair criticism to me. It's like, you saw the movie, you didn't like it. It wasn't like you were trying to get like a hundred thousand favorites on Twitter by being, uh, oh my God, I, I do have principles 
Cooper, Cooper Hoffman. No, 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 no. Okay, well, it was 1970. The dude desperately wanted to get a hand job from this lady, and I don't think it's a crime. So I guess we'll leave it there. Yeah, and as for the horrible racism in the movie, yeah. sure, it was a little awkward. It was a little out of place, maybe. I get that it maybe was a bit cringy. Um, but I think it's going way too far to call it horribly racist or even to call it racist in the first place. Maybe at most it was insensitive or something, but uh, I didn't find that, uh, you know, terribly distracting or problematic. And I, again, I think to just wag your finger at some artist for having one joke in the movie that you didn't love um, and accusing him of racism is just dumb and, and it rubs people the wrong way. So, uh, yeah, that's my take. I'm a licorice pizza defender. Hundred percent. Check it out. Ignore the critics. Um, but yeah, I, I guess that pretty much wraps up our segment on that. Unless you had anything else to say, Zach? No, I think that also a lot of people are pointing out that Cooper Hoffman, you know, uh, his character is, uh, you know, one, he's an 18 year old kid in real life. So they didn't cross any lines there legally. So everybody can shut the fuck up about that. They used a fucking adult actor. And he's also a uh, Falcon Philip Seymour Hoffman's son. So he's developed like a fucking grown man and he's 18 years old. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't look like a fucking child. It doesn't like that. Those connotations cannot be read from the movie if you're looking at it. Like it's not like she was manipulating him or like extorting him. And, you know, if Roman Polanski made came out and made this movie that was all like defending himself for like rape and fucking molesting children and all that kind of shit. Like then you know, I would come out here and I'd be like, guys, I don't think this works. Like, I, you know, he's he's clearly trying to rewrite his own legacy like you know this is his like own manhattan or something i don't fucking know but uh anyway uh it, it's not like that at all and and it just seems completely disingenuous to try and come out here and paint the film like that uh it was a great movie it it, 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 it more fits in the realm of like a dazed and confused kind of a deal than than like a herald and mod you know what i mean even if uh even if the, the subject matter is still there that uh, plot element is still utilized so uh, yeah, it's a phone, laid back, low key movie. It doesn't have anything to say about like grooming your lover, I promise.